when God sets you apart, he is working big things in your life. Maybe he sets you apart for a 40 day uh, uh, water and water fast and prayer maybe he sets you apart, uh, apart for an isolation and prayer maybe he sets you apart for a wilderness and prayer whatever he sets you apart for maybe he sets you apart so you can work on a specific uh, project whatever it is whatever God is setting you apart for he is working something big in your life and you just have to trust that process let's take Noah for example God set him apart to work on the ark and it was in a period in time where they, they hadn't seen water in that in that land for a long, for many, many years. So he looked crazy in front of many people, but he trusted God that if God is telling me to build this ark, then water must be coming. He looked crazy in front of people. So when God is setting you apart to do something, you have to trust the process. And God has a purpose. God has something big for you and he's, and he's setting you apart for something. Let's take Moses, for example. God set him apart to go to King Pharaoh and ask him to release the Hebrew slaves from Egypt so he can take them to the promised land, Israel. And if you remember Moses, he was not an eloquent man. He could not speak properly. In fact, he said, yes, but I cannot speak. So God sent Aaron so he can be his mouthpiece. And so whatever God is setting you apart for is because he has something big, big, big for you. Whatever he's setting you apart for, he might be setting you apart for a water fast, for an isolation, for a hiding period, the purging period. Whatever he's setting you apart for, it doesn't matter what he's setting you apart for. All you need to know that he has a big reason why he's putting you in this uh, season of your life. And in these uh, periods of your life, there will be people that won't understand. People were looking at Noah building the ark. In a land that hadn't seen rain for years. They didn't understand. They probably called him crazy. So there will be people that won't understand. There will be people that think you're crazy. And blame you. And you might be feeling that the odds are against you. Or that you know. Everything's wrong. Nothing is working. Your own family might be awkward against you. You might start to feel discouraged. And start to question. Did God really say that? Did God? You might start to question what God has already told you. Did God really say that? Did God is, is this really from God? And all I want to say to you is regardless of what is happening and regardless of how crazy it may seem, regardless of how hard it may seem, you just have to keep going. You have to keep going and always know that if God brought you to it, he's going to get you through it. He will not bring you somewhere and just leave you there hanging by yourself. If he brought you to it, he's going to get you through it. God might have you on this plan for multiple reasons. One of those reasons could be to bring others to deliverance, like Moses. He brought others. He had him on that plan to bring others. He set him aside and had him on that mission to bring others to deliverance. It could be, though, that he's testing your faith. It could be that he's he's purging impatience so you can be patient. It could be that he's giving you strength. It could be anything. And yes, it's hard, but you have to stay strong. Don't allow what is happening around you to discourage you or what other people are saying to discourage you. If Noah allowed what other people were saying to him, oh, you know, let's just go and have fun. There ain't going to be any rain. Oh, and, and they called him crazy. They thought he was crazy. If you allow whatever is happening around you to discourage you, it's going to weaken you. You won't be able to finish God, the, the, the reason. You won't be able to finish the purpose that God has set you apart for. God has set you apart for a reason set you apart for a reason so during this time just pray stay you've got to move closer to god during this time and pray and say god i might be suffering god i might be in pain but please keep me faithful satan will always try to send situations your way to take you off of the path of god he might send someone your way to say oh you know you you see you've been uh, you seem so negative now lately i don't think this is the plan god's plan for your life let's just go out and have fun or it could bring people to say oh you know i think i don't think that's god's plan for you that's looking crazy like people were saying to nobody you're crazy you're crazy you're crazy and laughing at him and pointing fingers at him don't let none of that discourage you god has set you apart for a reason and so pray, trusting God, trusting his timing, trusting the process. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8 verse 28, all things work for the good of those who love God and who have been called according to his purpose. So things will work out for your good in this season. 
because the Bible says so. The Bible also tells us in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. God has plans for you in this season in your life. He set you apart because he has plans for you in this season in your life. You just have to wait on his instructions and stop going by your own understanding. If Noah was to go by his own understanding when God told him to build the ark, he would have said, well, the skies are all clear. We haven't had rain on this land for years. No, I don't think there are going to be any rains, any floods. See, that would have been going on by his own understanding. Follow God's instructions. Don't go by your own understanding based on what anybody says, based on how things look, because how things look could be deceiving. You see, with Noah, everything looked peaceful. Everything looked sunny. No sign of cloud, no sign of, sign of rain, nothing. But looks can be deceiving. God knows what is to come. And if, if he's putting you in this, in this, if he's setting you apart for this season in your life, because he knows what is to come. It could be that something's coming that you need to break free from. It could be that he's delivering, is using you to deliver others. Because when you start doing this kind of work with God in these isolations, when he sets you apart and you start to obey, you actually move things. You change things in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm. And so you, you just have to wait on God's instructions and, and go only by how he tells you to go. And trust in his timing, trust in his everything. The Bible tells us in Psalm 32, chapter 8, It says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. So God is guiding you in this period in your life, in this season in your life. He has a plan in this season in your life. He is working for your good in this season in your life. And you just have to wait, wait it out and be still. When God is telling you to be still, don't let the enemy come in and try to rush you, try to make you anxious to move and do things quickly when God is telling you to be still. But at the same time, if God is telling you to move, don't let the enemy try to come in and tell you, oh, just wait and don't do anything, I'm tired. You have to go by God's understanding. You have to go by God's instructions. Because I tell you what, maybe you were born for such a time as this. Maybe you were born for such a time as this. The Bible tells us in Esther chapter 4 verse 14, perhaps you were born for such a time as this. Perhaps you were born for such a time as this. Everything you went through in the past up till now maybe is preparing you for this, for what is coming, for God has for the reason God has set you apart for. Which we don't currently know now, but that's fine. Manoah didn't know everything that was going to happen in the ark when the floods came. He just knew that I need to build an ark. Moses didn't know what would happen when he took the Hebrews from Egypt to Israel. But he just knew that I have to go and, and help the, uh, the Hebrews out of slavery. And so everything you went through in your life up till now could be preparing you for what you're going through now, the reason God has set you apart for, and the reward that's coming. Because the reward could be anything from a breakthrough, from a deliverance, from a ministry, from... Look, it could be anything. If we just sit here to discuss what it could be, we will be limiting ourselves. God is not limited. God will give you more and beyond what you could ever imagine, think of. And so what you're going through is the beginning of your reward what you're going through now when God has set you apart what you're going through now is the beginning of your anointing it is the beginning of your reward it is the beginning of your blessing one of many that is to come because once you get out of this uh, uh, period that God has set you apart for he might set you apart for something else and then he might set you apart for something else but it's always a blessing there's always a reward there's always an anointing that comes after it and so God God what you're going through right now is the beginning of your anointing that God will put up on you. It's the beginning of your anointing that God will put up on your life. 
to change the nations of God. Could be through the YouTube ministry, it could be through could be through anything. Could be through writing books, an author that reminds me of my book now. Live on Amazon, who is God? It's available paperback and Kindle. And I'm currently writing three more books. So I'll let you know once they're out. And so the beginning of your anointing, you just have to get through it. You just have to not give up. You just have to not allow what other people are saying or how other people see you to get discouraged and get you down. You just have to not allow Satan to come in and cause you to doubt. Because once you doubt and you start questioning what God has already said, that's where Satan's going to come in with a lie. God didn't say that. Yeah, let's just go out and have a bit of fun. I leave that. And the more difficult it is, the bigger the reward. You know that. If you need us to pray for you, and just uh, leave your prayer request in the comment box and we will pray over you. And until next time, God bless you and may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.